Worldwide, projects have experienced numerous barriers in their implementation. As a solution, project monitoring and evaluation are key elements in improving project performance. These barriers are primarily influenced by the kinds of measures being used and the minimum amount of attention given to the practice. The effectiveness and success of every monitoring plan depends largely on the capacity of the institution or individual mandated to undertake the activity. Here in West Gonja and Yendi, implementation of project monitoring and evaluation seems to be a challenge with weak institutional capacity. Then that was a carriage and the Tran and the Mogabashin. It took away in the blocks, Ki Pora, put to coin the Malta, Ki Gabra, and it's in that song by Shamavi. So Drakim Katumaka told you a good Again, monitoring and evaluation are processes, and therefore, there is a need for synergy with other activities in the project cycle, such as planning and budgeting. The weak linkage between planning and budgeting on one hand and project monitoring and evaluation on the other adversely affects the ultimate aim of planning, monitoring, and evaluation. As you award the contract, uh, there are timelines for execution. So the contractor is also supposed to execute within a particular time frame. And sometimes the delay could either be from the contractor or from the side of the assembly. If along the project uh, execution, maybe there can be variations. We want to change project design, which has cost implications. So that means that you have to seek for approval to review your budget approach. It's not all that adequate, simple because of the uh, the transportation that is uh, sometimes even as I'm speaking we only have one motorbike for the department which shouldn't be so mm -hmm. because you we are more than four in the office so sometimes if you want to go to a project and it needs some group team work to do some correction it means that it hinders the, uh, the movement because you use, it is only two people that the motorbike can carry. Citizens and opinion leaders in communities such as Busunu, Mtiasem, Damango, Kantin, Nayilfong, amongst others in West Gonja and Yendi, believe citizens' engagement in project construction in the health and education sector will guarantee successful completion. As part of this program, the wish to generate evidence on whether and under what conditions public money is saved through the citizen monitoring approach, service delivers, however, are hopeful that collaborating with citizens and CSOs to monitor projects will help the assemblies prevent unnecessary infrastructure expenditure. The relationship has been very cordial. When we have a engagement, we invite the CSOs and the the general public, there will be social accountability forum, meet the press and all those things. Uh, that are, those are the instances we engage the CSOs. The concerns all must be decided by all. So when we involve them, they will also keep the project implementers on their toes and at the end of the day we have value for money for whatever we are doing. Integrity Action and Sensei, their long experience of citizen monitoring approaches tells that such approaches have the potential to improve services like education, health or infrastructure.